How's it going people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my Mazda MX-5 from 1997 where today I am doing a job that I have never done before. I am changing the speakers. I feel like I'm 17 all over again doing a whole set of new speakers in the car but the speakers in this car sound absolutely awful. I mentioned in a previous video they sound super tinny, like kind of sound like you're underwater and I've heard that these ones do a much better job and they only cost me 30 quid so on that basis I'm kind of laughing. So today I'm going to see if I can fit them into this car. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> okay so before we begin let's start with how the speakers currently sound in this car let's crank it up Yeah, so I don't know if you can even hear me anymore, let's turn this down a little bit, but the key things are, sounds very underwatery, and the right speaker was clearly blown out by the previous owner because when it gets bassy, it has that horrible sort of grim, broken speaker hit, I guess. So hopefully we'll be sounding a lot better by the end of this video. All right, so these are the JVC speakers in question. They, uh, I haven't actually taken them out thus far. They're pretty big. It, it looks like they're bigger than the ones in the car, but I actually don't know. Just drop that. And yes, as I mentioned, I got them for 30 quid on MX-5 parts and they were reduced. So that's always good. We have to go get the other speakers out of the car. So let's go and do that. Okay, so hopefully this shouldn't be too difficult. Literally this panel here should just pop up if I do that. Yeah, there we go. So that is literally the speaker panel off. And then here we have the speaker with three little uh, screws in. So I'll remove those screws and see what we have behind them. Okay, so hopefully this should pop out. In fact, it does. So there we go. That's the actual uh, speaker out of position. And over here we have a, uh, I think we have to basically pull this little catch here off, which I will do now. So we may need to do some wire cutting here to uh, get this to work properly. But the basics are, obviously I need to attach these two, the positive and the negative, to this right here. Also, I have to test fit to make sure that this will actually fit in here. So I've heard that other people have had to actually drill this part out, but I actually don't think that's gonna be the case. I reckon if I put this speaker in in the right position, it should fit in just right. And there we go. As I said, look, literally there, there, and there fits absolutely perfectly people have genuinely told me that they've had to drill this in order to fit this speaker in but there's the holes and it fits perfectly but yes now that i have test fitted the speaker i now need to wire it up so here we have the positive being the red and green and the negative being the red and white and i need to attach those onto the positive and negative on this speaker so to do that i'm probably going to just literally wire strip them attach them to this and then once that's all done attach that all to that but i'm just going to work it out as we go So by the way, yes, I did just strip those cables with my teeth because uh, I've seen my dad do it before. And so I thought that was the easiest way to do it because I haven't got any cable uh, or wire strippers here. positive and negative into the right place. And now theoretically this speaker should work. So I'm gonna just put it in place and see if it makes any noise. Oh, and by the way, I'm just tightening up into place using the provided screws in order to ensure that it doesn't go anywhere if it does actually start working. Time to find out if it works. I think it is. It is. It's vibrating. Mate, I'm gassed. Right, so that did actually work. I'll do it on the other side. I won't show you the whole process by talking you through it and stuff. I'm going to put the uh, cover back on over there first and then we'll do this side and then I'll be able to show you how it sounds with the new speakers.
So yeah, sadly, these nice little speaker covers won't actually fit into here because I'll have to leave most of the door exposed and I don't really want that. So the other covers will have to go back on, which I'm gonna try and do with one hand as I'm holding the camera in the other one. It's literally just a uh, four pops and it's in. And there we go. Theoretically now, when I turn on the speakers, they're going to give me a whole new audio experience in the car. So uh, let's find out if my 30 quid was worth it. Here we go. They're definitely clearer. You probably can't pick it up on camera, but for me, this is like, it's like being in my polo, just hearing the normal sounds of the speakers. Um, but there is one problem with this set of speakers, slash any speakers at all in this car, because let's, let's just turn that down very slightly. Look what happens if I give the car a blip. Yeah, I somehow don't feel like I'm gonna be able to hear the speakers. Doesn't really matter what music I play. The supercharger whine and the noise coming out the back is maybe a bit too much, but I felt like this was a worthwhile modification anyway, so yes. Since I never did it when I was 17, I never changed the speakers on my Skoda, and I've never changed the speakers on the Polo because they're absolutely fine. I felt like I had to do it, and so now it's done all good. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for some of you. If it was, please do leave a like as it really helps the video out. Massive thank you to the patrons as always. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Listen.